who am I and where am I from? Well, my name's Andrew Laura. I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, I was actually homeschooled from K to eighth grade, kind of a fun fact. My mom, uh, was a great mom, took care of me, taught me the basics, reading and writing, arithmetic, and a few other things. So uh, it's actually a funny thing. I, I think there are some homeschoolers that are, that uh, definitely struggle with social skills, but we really didn't. I mean, I was very involved, obviously, in soccer and a bunch of other activities. So that wasn't uh, particularly difficult, um, but it is funny because that's one of the first questions people ask, are you know, you're not weird or something like that. But no, I, I actually enjoyed it and uh, you know, it was great. Uh, I started playing when I was seven uh, the, uh, in the Erie Youth Soccer Association. I was about seven, I went to my first practice and I remember I hit the ball with my thigh. And I, my brother wrote a song about it and I was pretty fired up about it. Um, we lost our first game one to nothing. Our, our, her name's Katie, I can't remember her last name. I don't want to throw her under the bus too much, but in the fourth quarter, she let it go right through her legs, and I was upset the whole ride home. I just, I was, I was pretty competitive, so it, uh, but yeah, I, I, I got butterflies for my first game, and it's just been a love affair ever since. Yeah, I played for my first season, and uh, I don't think I scored a goal. I just ran around. The coach called me the uh, little engine or train because I just I like to run. Um, but uh, I think I, we, there was this little 3v3, they called it micro soccer, and we started doing that, and you got a lot of touches on the ball. And that's when I started to really get a sense for it, and uh, I scored a few goals, and then it was like, boom, this is, this is the thing. So it was uh, kind of, I, I just, you know, it, it, I knew. I've always enjoyed scoring goals. It, it's just the most fun thing to do. I, I like, uh, it's just exciting and you, it, the, the rush when you score is, is awesome. So I've uh, definitely always um, leaned towards the offensive side of the ball and you could say leaned away from the defensive side, but yeah, I, I love it. My biggest asset would be my skill, um, uh, my ability to take people on, um, but uh, also heading is a strength. Uh, I'm obviously a bit taller than everybody, so uh, that's another asset. But yeah, this skill and heading are, are my, my two key strengths. Uh, you know, it's been interesting. This is my seventh year playing professional, which is hard to believe, but it's been a good ride. Um, it's a really young group, and a lot of times I think there's a negative connotation with that. If, you know, it's a green group or it's inexperienced or whatever, but it's just been fun. There's been such a lack of egos. Uh, not a lack of desire or you know to win, but a lack of ego. So it's just made uh, being around the guys and preparing for games just so much easier and, and much more enjoyable. So uh, it's fun. It's a hungry group that that really wants to do well and wants to kind of prove themselves and show that they can you know make it on the big stage. So I'd say you know as far as using my experience and being a leader. I'm not necessarily a guy that's uh, barking a ton on the field. Um, I, I think I, I specialize in keeping the guys loose. I like to joke around a lot. Um, uh, I like to have a lot of fun. So, um, and then just giving some perspective. You know, I think the, the craziest thing about playing sports and, and especially soccer is that there's just massive highs and lows throughout the season. And you can't get too high, you know, if you score a goal, you know, sometimes you think you're the king of the world. Or if you have a bad game, you think you'll never play well again. And I just think I'll help with the perspective as far as, you know, hey, that, that happens and, you know, you've got to just let it go and move on and be professional and, and get the next game. And it's just, it's really about being consistent. So I think that's where I'll, I'll help keep the guys loose and just get them ready to play the next game. Tulsa has been great so far. Um, it's very symmetrical. So getting around is a piece of cake. Nothing's farther than 15 or 20 minutes away. The people have been outstandingly friendly. I've just been welcomed with open arms, which uh, I've, I've only lived in the north, so uh, it, it's been uh, an awesome experience. You, you hear the connotation southern hospitality, but uh, it's, it's really true. So that's been unbelievable for me. I just, I didn't know that really existed and people have been, everyone's been so, oh, do you need anything? Are you okay? I mean, and so it's been unbelievable. I, I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. Just keep coming to the games. Uh, sometimes I think, you know, I've been a fan. I remember going, we'd always go to these, uh, we had a double A team in uh, Erie and uh, my buddy, Nick Tunney, had tickets, and we'd go all the time, and I remember just enjoying heckling the, uh, the referee and the players. You know, it was just for fun. I was 11 or 12, just being a goofball. But, um, you know, you don't know when you're a fan of people, if the players can hear you, but they, they can. If you're really loud and you're fairly close and you're yelling, we can hear you. We know that you're screaming. It's a, you can tell when you're playing away, you can tell when you're home, playing at home. It's a big difference. So it really helps us. It honestly gives us a massive boost if you're screaming and cheering for us. So, just keep coming and uh, you know we'll we'll make good we'll we'll do well for you